Hello viewers, I am Prasanna. I am here to explain you estimation and rounding of numbers. Estimation and rounding of numbers. Here we come across many situations in our daily life such as uh, 50,000 people visited Nampali exhibition and suppose uh, 15 lakh students are appearing SSE board examination this year or um, 2 lakh people affected a corona virus in India right now here in this nearly approximately roughly do not show the exact number of people here they do not show the exact number of people now in fact 50,000 may be 49,785 or 51,286 isn't it? so that it may be a little less or more but not exact okay estimation is also a good way of checking answers so here we usually round up the numbers nearest tens hundreds thousands ten thousands now in this I am going to explain how to round up the numbers nearest tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands. Is it clear? Rounding of nearest to tens. See here, I have written 60 to 70 numbers. Here first I will consider 61. 61 is very near to 60. Isn't it? 61 is very near to 60 when compared to 70. So here 61 will be rounded out. 60. Suppose if I take 67. 67 is very near to 70 when compared to 60. So 67 is rounded as 70. Is it clear? Next coming to 65. If I take 65, 65 is at equal distance from 60 and 70. 65 is equal distance from 60 and 70. But by convention it is rounded up to 65 is rounded up to 70. This is nearest to 10. So here I am going to explain small easy technique. Easy technique how to round off of numbers. Right here rounding of nearest tens. For example if I Take 763. Here I am doing nearest to 10. 763 is near to which number? When you round it nearest to 10. You can easily say it is 760. Is it clear? But by writing in this way it is somewhat difficult and little time consuming. So there is a small technique here. Nearest to 10 means you have to round up the 10th digit. You know, this is ones, tens, hundreds, right? Now, nearest to tens means you should take tens digit and round it off and compare the next digit with the five. Always compare the next digit with the five. And here, three is smaller than five. Three is smaller than five. Then what you will do? You should not add anything. Just you write seven, six. After rounding, how many numbers are there? That many zeros. So you will get the 760 here. Is it clear? One more example I will take. 897. Nearest to 10s. Here tens place we should round off. Next number is what? 7. 7 you compare with 5. Here 7 is greater than 5. If this number is greater than 5 or equal to 5 then you should add 1 to this round off number. Once again I am repeating, if this number is greater than 5 or equal to 5, then we should add one number to this round of number. So how much you will get here? 9 plus 1 is 0. 0 you should write, take one to other number. So it will become 9, 0, 0. So 97 is nearer to 100 or not? So you will get 900. One more example I will take. 679. 679 is nearest to, to which number? Near rounding of nearest tens. Here tens digit you round off. What is the next number? 9. 9 you compare with 5. 
9 is greater than 5. Once again, if it is greater than 5 or equal to 5, then we should add 1 to this round gift number. Now, what do you get? 6. 7 plus 1 is how much? 8. And after this round off, how many numbers are there? 1. So, it should be 1, 0. 6, 8 is the answer. One more example. 435. Round of nearest to tens. Round of nearest to tens. Here, compare this next number with 5. It is equal to 5. Then if it is equal or greater than 5, you should add 1 to this number. So 4, 3 plus 1 is how much? 4. And after this round of how many digits are there? 1 digits, you keep 0. So 440 is the nearest to tens to 430. Next to rounding of nearest hundreds. Here 400, 410, 420, 430. Here I took like this numbers. Suppose if I take 420. 420 is very near to 400. Isn't it? Then 500. So 420 is rounded to 400. Come when I compare to 480. 480 is very near to 500 than 400. So 480 is compared uh, rounded off to 500. Then what about 450? It is an equal distance for 400 and 500. So 450 is rounded to 500. So uh, one more technique just now I have discussed with nearest to tens. Similarly in that way you can do nearest to hundreds also. For example 3, 4, 1, 5. Nearest to hundreds. Here hundreds means 450. 415 is near to 400 or 500? 415 is near to 400 and 500. You can say that 15 is nearer to 400. So you will get answer as 3400. But just now I explain one method. We will see in that method. Here round of nearest hundreds. So what is the hundreds place here? 4. Then compare the next number. 1. 1 you compare with 5. 1 is less than 5. If it is less than, no need to add any number to any round of number. So here just you write 3 as it is, 4 as it is. After rounding of number, how many digits are there here? 2 digits. So 3400 is the answer. One more example I will take. Like 5, 7, 7, 6. Here 776. 776 is near to 700 or is it near to 800? Yes, it is near to 800. So, what is the answer you will get here children? 5800. We will see in our method. Okay. Now, nearest to 100 means I am rounding off 7 here. Drag the next number 7. You compare with 5. Here 7 is greater than 5. 7 is greater than 5. Then add 1 to this round of number. So, 5. 7 plus 1 is how much? 8. And after this rounding of number, how many are there? Two numbers are there. So, keep two zeros. So, 5800 is...